Einstein's theory of relativity tells us that space and time are interrelated and time flows differently depending on the relative size, distance, and speed of two objects. The closer one is to another object in motion, the faster it seems to be moving. Watch a train from a distance and it seems to be crawling. Get up close and it seems to fly by. Well, you'll have to go somewhere else for a deeper analysis of that. However, we all know time crawls and flies. Waiting for the preacher to finish a boring sermon seems to take forever. But we're surprised at how much time a more interesting one actually took. The apparent length of time is relative to our interest in the event. If we're captured by it, time flies. If we're waiting for it to end, time crawls, even if both events last the same exact length of time. Today's Saturdays in the Psalms takes us to Psalm 30, wherein King David draws attention to the apparent relativity of time in a song praising God for deliverance. He begins with praise and an explanation. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you for help, and you healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol. You have kept me alive that I would not go down to the pit. Psalm 30, verses 1 through 3. Then David calls on his readers to praise God and introduces his own theory of relativity. Sing praise to the Lord, you, his godly ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may last for the night, but a shout of joy comes in the morning. Psalm 30, verses 4 and 5. David's theory of relativity is based on the simple but amazing reality. God's nature is inclined to goodwill. Yes, he is righteously angry at sin and will eternally exclude the impenitent sinner from his presence. But even as we pile up sin upon sin, God constantly offers forgiveness and mercy to every one of us, even if we've rejected him all our lives. He will forgive you and me in a moment. All we have to do is repent and return to him, beginning with a simple submissive willingness to be baptized. Acts 2 verse 38. Better yet, don't wait until the end of your life. Submit now while you have the time, because no one knows when their time will run out. Thank you for watching today's Saturdays in the Psalms edition of Morning Minutes in the Bible and American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.